welcome to my channel. My name is Roshni. Okay, so today it's kind of crazy and this is a little bit of a different video than usual. I'm actually moving this week. I just wanted to share a little bit of this process with you guys. Um, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've learned. A lot of my plans have changed. Um, I left my 9 to 5 job, took a few months off to, to work on my business. So since leaving my job, a lot has really changed in my life. And you know what? No matter what your dreams are and no matter what you have going on in your life, like plans change and it, that doesn't say anything about you. That doesn't say anything about you know how talented you are the problem with media is that we only really see people who are who have already made it you know but all of a sudden you'll like have never heard of someone's name before and then like seemingly overnight or over a few months they'll become like a huge celebrity eventually be they become a household name and that's kind of the side of it that we get to see but what we don't get to see is the fact that you know they got rejected so many times they worked for something for years they were in plenty of TV shows or played small roles or we're extras and now all of a sudden they're like this huge person and that's the side that is pushed in our face it's like these people who are immediately famous and have all this money and have all these credentials and stuff but it really it takes a long time to build that up I think that it can be so frustrating when people are saying like well when is it gonna happen when is it gonna happen because you already have that internal dialogue in your own head when you are being asked that same question by so many other people it makes you just not believe in yourself and it makes you second guess yourself and makes you doubt yourself um, and that's exactly what had been going on in my own mind recently I was like should I just quit like my life plan is changing I want to you know do all these different things before I travel you know I'm on this clock and blah blah it's like all these stupid things that are just excuses that we tell ourselves and we really just have to let go of all of it and let things be messy sometimes you have to go through those periods of messiness to really figure things out like I feel like like you know you People move, people break up, people have to move out of their shared apartments and things like that. Like crazy things happen all the time and things get messy really easily, but it's just super important to remember that as long as that you're peaceful and as long as you're making, even if you have to make multiple different decisions or change your mind a few times, if you're continuing to honor yourself and to stay in alignment with yourself throughout those major decisions, I think it's really beneficial for you and I think it's just super important to make sure that you're connected with yourself but to know that in that connection it's okay if things get messy and it's okay if things get you know messed up a little bit or if you have to plan things or do something over or go back to something like things are complicated and it's not always that easy not everything is cut and dry and I think it's just important to remember that you are honoring yourself and that you're staying consistent with just being who you are like I know myself I've fallen out of a lot of the routines that I've been doing I haven't been writing my morning pages lately and I feel more like muddled in my thoughts and I feel like I'm just like all over the place but I know that that's been because I haven't been sticking to my routines and I know how hard that can be especially when you just have a lot going on and you're stressed out and you're worried about other things and other things are taking priority and obviously that's totally fine we're all gonna have a few days maybe even a week where we just kind of fall out of our routines but as much as you can even if it's not the same time of day if you can still try and connect with those activities or find something else that you can do that's not as time consuming in the meantime to just keep yourself centered because um, I think you can like be on a really good track of you know writing your morning pages every day or working out every day or whatever you know your whatever your thing is right now but then you know one week of not doing it can throw you into like a whole whirlwind of being lazy and then you get into like this stupid self-hatred that's completely unwarranted like it's like you know you, you fell off this path and you can easily get back on it but instead of that we just torment ourselves or call ourselves lazy and I think it's just important to remember to give yourself that slack, give yourself that space, and if you can find something to do that, you know, makes you feel better in the meantime, then absolutely, you know, hands down, go for it. And, you know, if you need to just kind of drop out of everything and just prioritize a few things, or if you have some deadlines that you're running into, then, you know, just pour yourself into that, pour your energy into that, and let things be messy for a while. That's completely okay, it's completely normal. 
that's what life is and sometimes that's what makes life so beautiful and a lot of the times when you are in those kind of mess messy states that's what forces you to realize that you need to change or it kind of forces you in a certain direction and it gives you kind of an opportunity to choose what direction you're going to go into and sometimes those are the times when we grow the most so I think it's okay to be uncomfortable I think it's okay for life to you know be a little messy and to not have the answers all the time just allow yourself to to breathe and make sure that you're staying in a alignment with yourself. Don't harp on yourself too much and just be okay with, with where you are and love yourself in that place and don't, you know, get caught in this trap of like guilt and fear and laziness. Like it's, it's fine. Especially if you're making a bigger move, then there's no need to stress yourself out. Overall, you're still making major steps towards living in alignment with yourself and that's the most important thing. It is pretty much the last day of the move. I'm super excited, but it has been a freaking roller coaster. And I was even questioning whether I should do a video or not, but I was like, look, you know, depression is real, mental health issues are real. Basically, I've been dealing with a ton and it's been really, really hard. I've, the realty company has just been like really, really harsh and stupid. Basically, they are making me pay for not just August, rent but September's rent and so the new place I'm moving into I'm moving into in August so I had to pay the security deposit plus the first month's rent in the new place plus the full month's rent for this old place and now the realty company for my this place which is my old place they also want me to pay the full month's rent for September even though my lease ends in August so we're getting into like thousands and thousands of dollars that have suddenly come up to transition into another full-time job so I'm currently looking for that and of course I'm moving and I'm kind of trying to play around with like rebranding this channel and so yeah there's just so much going on and the added like financial stress doesn't really help so that's kind of contributed to the reasons of why you know I just haven't been feeling like myself lately. If you've been really really depressed before it could be likely at least for the next couple of years that around that same time of year like the same month or maybe even the same week you start feeling kind of off. I've had like a really bad depression like around the middle of summer and then also again around like September, October, and fall. I guess that's kind of what has been happening with me and it's happened pretty much for the last five or six years. Like it just completely overtakes me. I have trouble getting out of bed. I have trouble eating. I kind of lose my personality. I It hurts to be around friends because I feel like I'm a zombie and I don't know what to say and I wish I could have fun with them but I just feel so shut down that I can't. But again, like I've had a lot of panic attacks on top of my depression and I've just noticed that I've become really, really angry. To be completely honest, like, I've kind of been circling around this depression for maybe over a month now, but on the same note, you know, over the last month or so, I have really fallen out of my morning routine, I've, you know, started a new job and um, that kind of threw off like my normal schedule and then after that I kind of stopped doing morning pages, I stopped dedicating a certain amount of time every morning to affirmations and I would still do affirmations here or there but it really wasn't consistent and I would go, you know, a couple of weeks without doing any of that and it really started to take such a toll on me. It's also been a really long time since I've done yoga and, you know, I know that none of that's helping but it kind of just feeds into one another. Like I feel bad so I don't do those things and then me not doing those things makes me feel unproductive and lazy. So then I feel bad and then I want to find a way to cope with it or just to feel better to distract myself and I think we've all been there. I think most people watching this channel can probably relate to that. The overall practice of understanding myself, the practice of coaching myself, of picking myself back up, of questioning myself and of starting to really understand what self-love actually means, like all of that has helped me not just fall into this depression and I'm so so glad for that. Thankfully this is the first time that I've been able to know that I'm on the verge of getting depressed and still be able to pick myself up and to keep going and I honestly attribute all of that to like affirmations and to this whole self-help journey because guys thank you so much for watching this video I really really appreciate it I wanted to bring you along on this journey of just my own personal mental health struggle and just kind of showing that you can learn along the way um, and that you know it's possible to 
try and find ways to not let your mental health get the best of you, but of course, if you are just really in the depths or really in the trenches, my heart goes out to you. If you want to reach out to me, absolutely go ahead and comment below or just find me on any of these other social media platforms. If there is anything going on or if you really feel like you just need someone to talk to, go ahead and reach out to me. And you know, if you really want to sit down and chat, then please definitely sign up for a consultation call. My link is always in the description below and I'll put it up here, but you can sign up for a free 45 minute consultation call at any point. I love you guys. Happy healing.